Hello, dear friends. Much has been said about the event, but Cobra offers a new perspective. Opinion piece. The expected event. Global change. Critical heat flux. The craziest moment. Change of consciousness. The moment of the event. Unforeseen and scheduled. Almost no one is prepared. The original plan is still intact. It would be before the solar flare. Let's start. The event would be a very important, dynamic and massive unforeseen event of a global nature, which could occur at any time and which would be scheduled since time immemorial. The event refers to the arrival of a massive positive change in human consciousness or the structure of reality and the arrival of a global transformation that would take humankind to a new level of consciousness and the spiritual evolution. The event would occur before the solar flare and the earth changes, according to Cobra. At the time of the event would be where the old society collapses, because the dark forces need an enormous amount of energy to maintain control from the perspective of thermodynamics they would run out of resources to maintain control of the system and the nuclear energy of the new society would be created. At the time of the polar shift, those who want to be evacuated will be evacuated. Some of the most advanced light workers will be on an island of light, which will be projected by special technology against the tsunami. An island of light would be a place or a state of a spiritual enlightenment, mental clarity or emotional well-being, where light represents windows, wisdom, inner peace or happiness. The prerequisite for ascension is connection with the higher self. Secondly, it requires a personal decision to start the elevation process. Christ's participation in the situation is to open the heart of humankind. The energy of unconditional love is much needed and is yet to come. It is connected to the energy of the goddess and is the energy necessary throughout the transition. Cobra doesn't recommend becoming immortal on the planet's surface, especially before the event, but assures that after the event there will be technologies to extend the lifespan of a physical body by 1,000 to 2,000 years. I think for most people, that's enough. Responsibility. You are responsible for creating the new society, <coughs> for starting islands of light, for teaching people and creating networks. First contact will begin when the expanding network across the planet retains a critical amount of light. It is a partnership between the surface population and galactic forces. There are already many motherships entering here. They are huge network of ships that are already under the surface of the moon. The structure below and on the planet will be ready. After Pluto entered Aquarius, this process is accelerating and things are becoming more intense in the solar system perhaps within a few weeks from now. We are in an accelerated purification of all the darkness, which is why everything is going so crazy. All the repressed darkness is coming to the surface. This is a purification phase, when this process is culminating. It will be the time of the critical heat flow or event. This will be the craziest moment of humankind. But it will not be the moment of the galactic pulse. It will not be the moment of the polar change. It will not be the time for the micronova event. It will be the moment when the forces of light will intervene on the surface of the planet, eliminating the dark forces and beginning the healing process of humankind. Then humanity will have something, some time to go through the healing process and prepare for the polar shift of the next maximum solar flares or the galactic superwave. 
As we approach the event, you must understand that you will have a very active role in that process. There will be a lot of things to do and you will be very busy, but it will be a quiet at time. We all have to support each other. Weld situation. The weld situation is very fluid and some of the original plans didn't work well because they were affected by dark forces that were not expected. There were some messengers of light who were compromised, which was more unexpected. There were some more missionaries of light who fear changes, which are even more unexpected. All of this expanded on the plan, but the original plan remained intact and unchanged, although some details will continue to change. This planet is the last faction of the dark forces and we are now in a very intense purification process. Of course, the dark ones are resisting their final cleansing and most of the surface population is open to the dark web. We are inviting them as much as they can to make their decisions. There is a will of humans from the surface of associated to the darkness. This is one of the reasons why it is taking so long. The matrix of this planet is very strong. Dark forces have built thousands of layers on the planet, especially around female sexual energy. It is the key to planetary liberation. The repression is very strong, and that is the key reason why the liberation has been delayed so much. In short, it is about the activation of your of human kundalini energy. The surface population is not prepared for that. Almost no one is prepared for that. This is the main reason why it is taking so long. So now we are adopting a moderate process, not so risky, but very slow. The amount of energy of the goddess is one of the main factors in how quickly she will move into the new age of Aquarius. Opinions. We are experiencing a satanic cult of death in Western civilization, according to Mike Adams. He believes that the G7 plan to steal Russia frozen, Russia's frozen assets will destroy the dollar, in his opinion. Um, in his opinion, they faked history to manipulate your reality. Major events in history have been altered twisted or even designed to reshape the past, control people in the present and dominate the minds of the masses for the future. Freedom of expression would end in 2024, according to Paul Craig Roberts. Bennett Ross, beliefs and assumptions are the mental elements of our reality. Encourage positive and constructive assumptions to attract desired results. When one assumes something, it is true. The mind works in harmony with that assumption, leading to the manifestation of it, strives to maintain a high frequency and do not succumb to negativity. Europe is raising news. Uh, Europe is raising emergency funds to give more ammunition to Ukraine. The Western elite acted aggressively against journalist Tucker Carlson. Iran's official statement says the Antarctica is its property. Secretary of Defense Austin transferred to the critical care unit. The farmers' revolt in Europe shows the true feelings that Europeans have towards their governments. Asian secret societies say that as soon as everyone returns from the Lunar New Year holidays starting late this week, and early next week, big things will happen in China as the year of the dragon begins. They promise peaceful reunification between Taiwan and China. There may also be a reunification of North and South Korea and a regime change in Japan. The new Japanese emperor has visited Korea and Taiwan as part of these preparations. Americas. Bolivia and China sign an agreement to carry out direct operations in Yuan. Governors denounce Malay's policy 
and the province threatens not to deliver gas or oil. The president of the province of Chubut previously warned, warned that he will interrupt the output of oil and gas if he doesn't receive the co-participation funds. Millet's challenging response to the governor, in quotes, take charge of the consequences in justice. Curious, discover the new natural force with unknown properties. Altered magnetism is a third type of magnetism not seen until now. It is found in common stones and its use prevents mistakes in the new generation of quantum computers. A peer-reviewed study by a team of Australian and Chinese researchers and published in the journal Global Ecology has discovered that carbon dioxide emissions are, in quotes, driving greater plant growth that is making the earth greener, even in the places affected by draft. The new Horizons spacecraft detected higher than expected level of dust at the outer edges of the Kuiper belt. This surprising discovery suggests that the boundaries of this vast and distant outer zone of the solar system could extend much farther than previously thought. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.